Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Exclusive Modest. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut this lovely dress. Let me say, it's a um, free dress also. It's a cut together of the sleeve. And it has a pleat at the neckline. It also has a standing collar. It has a, an elastic cover at the wrist. As you can see how it is. And it's cut together with the sleeve like I said earlier. So the material to use here, you're going to use up to 4 yards of any fabric. Of your choice so the first folding is going to be into two like this you can see this is into two then i'll be folding it into four after the folding then i'll be taking the necessary measurement so this is after folding it out the first thing i'm going to consider here is going to be the length after folding it into four the length is the first thing to consider the length here i'll be making use of um 15 inches you can see the whole wideness of what i'm putting out is going to be the length but i'm going to 18 inches so that means i'm still going to add up to three inches to it then at that three inches i'm adding that is going for the band that is where we're going to put our elastic cover so that's the shoulder slant one inch shoulder slant then i'll be slanting it up to the center of both work and front like this then i'm going to cut it out After the cutting, I'll be taking the wideness of um, 6 inches, which is just 6 inches wideness, you can see, then I'm going to wheel it to have a straight cut, to have a straight line also, like this. So after this, I'm going to take the bust measurement to be 28 inches, so that is 7 in 4 places, 28 inches, 28 inches is not the actual um bust measurements have had some interest to it because it's a free dress it's too tight so the actual bust measurement is 22 then that means i have six inches to it to make it 20 just to make it free then that is the length i'm using i'm making it of 32 inches for the length the 32 inches there is with the same allowance so the next thing i'm going to add here is the same allowance of half inch so that by the time i join everything I'm still going to left to it um, 28 inches. Then from here, I'm going to slant it down like a shape. I'm slanting it down directly from the bust to the full length of the dress. This is not going to have a waist. It's not coming to the waist at all. It's not fitted. So from the bust, you slant it down to the full length like this. After the slanting down, the next thing we're going to do here is to give the down part here a round shape by taking one and a half inches up then i'm trying to connect it like this you can see so after that i want to take out the neckline the neckline here the wideness of the neck is going to be wide and the deepness of the neck is going to be wide due to the pleat that is going to be there so that is why the actual one is supposed to be two inches but because i want to add I want to make a pleat and making it four inches so that's why if you are cut if you are cutting this for a bigger measurement that is why you'll be adding some um some inches to your normal wideness of the neck so by the time you hold it you place it you're going to come back to normal so you can see it now so the deepness i use on um, two inches then i want to cut it and if I can see that it's not deep enough you know, or the pleating is not coming out properly, I can still tip it more. You can see. So, I want to dip it more like this. I added one inch to it. So, making um, three yards, three inches rather, making three inches for the neckline. You can see. So, by the time I pleat it back, it's going to give me the normal roundness of the neck. You know, it's like a turtle neck, so it must hold on the neck so it must not be too wide and, it's also, and it must not be too tight so that is what i'm do that is why i'm doing it this way then i cannot open it i'll open it but before then i want to cut out the shape so i'm done with the cutting of the neckline of the body also they want to notch the center here so i'm notching the center both front and back are the same thing here because i'm cutting for a smaller measurement 
but if you are cutting for a bigger measurement you can let your phone to be co to come down a little bit than the back so here is the band i'm adding to the sleeve this is 6.5 inches when i fold it into two i'll be left it 3.25 you understand then this is how it's going to be here when i use it all points five to stitch it i'll be left it 5.75 so to take the full length of the sleeve now now i'm having 18 inches so this is the actual length that i need so now this is for the neckline the guidance of the neckline is 13 and i've cut this out so after pleating it i must split it in such a way that i'll be end up having 13 inches right there because this is the length and the length i cut out three inches when i fold it into two it's going to give me 1.5 inches 0.5 is going for the same allowance one inch is going for the neck band so this is what we need here so let me go and join everything together and show you the finishing welcome back here yeah, the finish work so far this is after joining everything together there is the neckline with the pleats you can see the neckline with pleats you can see the guidance of the neckline you can see the sleeve this is the band added to the to the sleeve to make it longer and this is the elastic cover that is there you can see how beautiful this turns out if you are watching me for the first time what are you waiting for just have to subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and for those who have already subscribed i really appreciate you guys bye